Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the POSP 3.1.0 queue for our Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI. So without wasting more time, let's start. So starting with the home screen, we get the launcher pre-alpha. You can see the home settings and you can configure this launcher settings afterwards. And you can see it's a launcher uh, 2.1 queue pre-alpha. And it also includes all AOSP apps, but I have last G apps, so it like just replaced all to the Google apps. Then let's move into about phone and into the Android 10. You can see POSP, POSP version 3.1.0R4, Android version 10, build official. Yes, this is the official build, and the kernel is extended, which is really great and really stockish kernel with ES and really great for battery life. So, guys, this ROM does not have that much features which you are expecting in the like from Pi. But yeah, slowly features have been added and only two, three features are there. So let's visit the feature control, which is the fries. So this is it, the quick settings features and framework values for quick settings. Use wallpaper colors and you can just configure it. And they are more uh, on like working on the interface rather than just adding some normal features like Volte icon and all. As you can see, Volte icon is not there. And you can see uh, these options are empty and this is the accent the themes. And you can choose the accent color so yeah and here yeah that's just the accent color and yeah these all are blank so yeah it's just working in progress and then when you move into system and you move into system update uh, it does not even have a OTK updater so that will be added soon too so you can just like wait for some time for the new build to release and yeah then you can like just really get some new features in so all. guys the main reason for me to review this rom it's about the performance i just like installed it to check how is it and i was not sure if i will be uh, i'm going to like review this rom or not but yeah about the performance and battery life i got it was really awesome and the experience is great so for gamers and all i will heavily recommend this rom and also POSP adds like quite some of the features which are actually required and some interface features so yeah if you're into really into it and you love minimal customizations then please try out this rom also the customizations which i'm talking about will be added soon and yeah ot updater will be also added so please uh, if you like really Mm, I are into this ROM so you can go give it a try it's really smooth also VLT is working fine there's no Volte logo currently so you can just check out VLT so it is saying that the number is wrong but yeah you can see number is invalid sorry but you can see the like it is like even dialing so yeah that is that means Volte is working and other functions all working fine uh, no slutters and nothing no lags also the vibration feedback is like stock not like the one plus smooth vibration it has vibration so if you people love it yeah you can and also it does not have xiaomi part so you cannot change the vibration patterns so if you love this stockish vibration the harder one then you can surely go for this one yeah people are like nowadays check each and everything before installing a custom ROM so that's why I told you this and yep that's it uh, for this small review I'm not just going to jump into the and to do benchmark and show the numbers and all it's just my uh, practical usage about the ROM and yeah for a better performance you can surely go for it so yep that's it and if you guys really like this video then press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye